renal tubular acidosis is classified into four types. The numbering can be confusing, but if we focus on the basics, we can remember the concepts most frequently tested on the board exam. In RTA type 1, a distal tubule defect prevents acid from being secreted. As the acid remains inside the body, the urine pH will rise, usually to a level greater than 5.5. The affected proton secretion channel is also responsible for potassium uptake from the urine. Therefore, the serum potassium will be low, and a positive urine anion gap will be present. RTA type 1 associated conditions include Sjogren's syndrome, the above patient's diagnosis, nephrolithiasis, and urinary obstruction. RTA type 2 is caused by a defect in bicarbonate reabsorption in the proximal convoluted tubule. This will initially lead to a urine pH greater than 5.5 because bicarbonate is present in the urine, but later some of the bicarbonate gets reabsorbed in the distal convoluted tubule. At that time, the urine pH will be less than 5.5. Other lab findings include hypokalemia and a positive urine anion gap. Conditions associated with type 2 RTA include systemic lupus erythematosus, multiple myeloma, acetazolamide use, and Fanconi syndrome. For an unknown reason, RTA type 3 does not exist. RTA type 4 is caused by hypoaldosteronism, or a resistance to aldosterone's effects. It is the only one of the RTAs that has hyperkalemia. Other lab findings include a urine pH less than 5.5 and a positive urine anion gap. Medications which can cause hypoaldosteronism include eplurinone, spironolactone, and trimethoprim. The key points to remember are as follows. All RTAs have a positive urine anion gap. Only RTA type 4 is associated with hyperkalemia. Only RTA type 1 will have a urine pH greater than 5.5 throughout. The way to remember this is the following. People who want to be number one or first will always want to be greater than everyone else. Therefore, the pH is greater than 5.5 in type 1 RTA. The same holds true for RTA type 2 initially. Since all RTAs have positive urine anion gap, choices C and D can be eliminated. Choice E, defect in proximal bicarbonate reabsorption, initially urine pH greater than 5.5 and later less than 5.5, positive urine anion gap, and a low potassium correlates with RTA type 2. Choice A correctly illustrates the lab findings seen in Sjogren's syndrome, causing RTA type